Good afternoon. We will be studying part six of chapter one, Nature of Logic. Here in this session, we will be continuing with the exercise. State whether the following arguments are deductive or inductive. Sixteenth one, all fruits are ripe. All mangoes are fruits. Therefore, all mangoes are ripe. Here, the premises claim to provide sufficient evidence for the conclusion, and the conclusion is implicitly present in the premise. So, the argument is of deductive type. He is a teacher. Therefore, he is a teacher or a owner of the tuition classes. Here also, the conclusion is. implicitly present in the premise and the premises provide try to provide or claim to provide sufficient evidence for the conclusion so the argument is of deductive type now we come to the 18th one 8 months ago i met a doctor of mumbai he was friendly 5 months ago i met a policeman of mumbai and he was friendly Three months ago, I met an electrician of Mumbai. He was friendly. Therefore, I guess all Mumbaiers are friendly. Here, the conclusion is not implicitly present in the premises, and the premises are not sufficient to prove the conclusion. So, the argument is of inductive type. Nineteenth. If there is smoke on the hill, then there is fire. There is smoke on the hill, therefore there will be fire on the hill. Here, the conclusion is implicitly present in the premise, and the premise will also provide sufficient evidence for the conclusion. So the argument is of deductive type. Now we come to the twentieth. All men are mortal. Avinash is man. Is a man, therefore Avinash is mortal. This also is implicitly conclusion is implicitly present in the premises, and the premises are also providing sufficient evidence for the conclusion to prove that Avinash is mortal. So it's of deductive type. Now we come to the twenty-first. Ajay and Vijay came from the same locality. both studied in the same school both studied in the same college both did their post graduation from the same university ajay got a job in a bank therefore vijay will also work in the bank not necessary because the evidence is given here are not sufficient to talk about vijay so and the vijay will also work in the bank this conclusion is not implicitly present in the premise so this argument is inductive type now we come to the 22nd it is observed that iron is heavy brass is heavy cobalt is heavy therefore all metals are heavy here again the evidences of three metals iron brass and cobalt is not sufficient enough to prove about all metals that they are heavy so this argument is of inductive type now we come to the 23rd if and only if you have a passport and visa to travel abroad then you can go to america manasi has both passport and visa to travel abroad therefore mansi can go to america so your the evidences are sufficient enough to prove the conclusion that mansi can go to america so this argument is of deductive type now we come to the next the bank safe was robbed last night whoever robbed the safe know the safe owner mr z knew the safe owner and he was seen outside the bank yesterday he also needed money for his sick mother's medicine therefore mr z must have robbed the safe last night is this evidence sufficient to prove that he has robbed the safe last night 
No, because though he needed money for his sick mother, he might have come to the bank to withdraw the money from the bank, not necessary that he has robbed. So this is an inductive argument. Now we come to the next. Rajvi has good qualifications. Rajvi is smart. Therefore, Rajvi has good qualifications and she is smart. Here, the conclusion is implicitly present in the premise and the premises provide sufficient evidence for the conclusion. So, this argument is of deductive type. Now, we come to the 26th. Every three-year-old you see at the park each afternoon spends most of their time crying and screaming. Therefore, all the three-year-old spend most of their time crying and screaming. This again is an inductive argument because the three-year-old seen in the park are few who cry and scream. Their, this evidence is not sufficient enough to prove about all the three-year-old children all over the world. So, it's an inductive argument. Now, we come to the 27. Red lights prevent accidents. Mickey did not have an accident while driving today. Therefore, Mickey must have stopped at a red light. It's not necessary. He might have not got the signal also. So, th this evidences are not sufficient to say that he has stopped at a red, a red light since he has not met with an accident. So, this argument is of inductive type. Now, we come to, now we come to the 28th one. All squares are rectangles. All rectangles have four sides. Therefore, all squares have four sides. Here, the premises claim to provide sufficient evidence for the conclusion. So, this is a deductive type of argument. Now, we come to the 29. An umbrella prevents you from getting wet in the rain. Anita carried her umbrella and she did not get wet. Therefore, it must be raining. Here the conclusion is not implicitly present in the premise or the premises do not claim to provide sufficient evidence. It does not mean that it may be raining because she might have carried the umbrella for safety so that she would not get wet. It might have rained or it might not have rained, but yet she carried the umbrella. So, we cannot conclude that it must be raining. So, this type of argument is inductive type. Next, all apples are fruits. Granny Smith is an apple, therefore Granny Smith is a fruit. This is an deductive argument because the premises claim to provide Sufficient evidence for the conclusion that Granny Smith is a fruit. This argument is deductive argument. In this session, we have studied the classification of arguments. That is deductive argument and inductive argument and their characteristics. We also have studied how to recognize deductive argument and inductive argument. Thank you.